Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Prayer and Devotion. I can already see that I'm having a little bit of technical issues here today, so hopefully this will uh, broadcast okay for you. Uh, but I do want to take a moment and just say I'm glad to be able to pray with each of you this morning as you join with me live here on Facebook. And we're believing God for great things as we uh, begin this uh, new year, actually, uh, yesterday, of course, the first day of the year, but today really the first day in earnest uh, of not being a holiday that we're really looking uh, into settling into our routine for uh, the coming year. Thank God for this opportunity to pray with each of you on a daily basis. We do need to pray this morning for peace and comfort for Micah, Malachi, Kayla, and Dee uh, due to the tragic loss of Dee's son, um, who is also Kayla's twin brother and Micah and Malachi's half-sibling. He was shot in the face three times early yesterday morning in Charleston and died shortly after arriving at the hospital. So we need to hold this family up in our prayers in the coming days. And this is currently uh, under investigation. So let's pray for um, all to be revealed and for justice to be served in this situation. We need to pray for safe travels for Rose Brown's children and grandchildren. Her son-in-law was in an accident caused by a drunk driver on New Year's Eve, and uh, she's concerned for uh, each of them on the roads. In our unspoken request today, let's continue to remember the Pulliam family, Jessica, Tracy, Judy's family, Johnny's family, and Terry's youngest sister, Robin. Uh, pray for our military personnel and their families. Again, this morning, pray for peace in Israel and in Ukraine. We need to pray for persecuted believers in Myanmar, India, Pakistan, Papua New Guinea, and other access challenged nations. Remember our North American and global missionaries in your prayers again this morning and many spiritual needs to pray about. Uh, we continue to pray for, for revival in our communities and for prodigals to return home, pray for the chains of addiction to be broken from people's lives and just as importantly for them to learn uh, to live, the delivered to learn to live in their uh, deliverance um, and understand what God has done for them. Uh, we need to pray for Judy Johnson's grandson and Beulah Ziegler's granddaughter, Jennifer and Brenda's family, J.R. Johnson, uh, Mark Perkins' sons, Matt and Mark, and their families, uh, the Sappingtons, the Biddick family, the Robbins family, the Pulliams, the Williams, the Moores, the Clarks, the Marlins, and the Cummins families. Uh, we need to pray for Donna Joyce and her family member who needs salvation and God's protection. Uh, Marsha has a family situation she wants us to continue praying about. Uh, we're praying for David to return to God for um, Destiny to grow in her relationship with God. We're lifting up Annette and Dave, Marsha's friend Ashley and Marsha's friend Linda, Jenny Perkins' sister Lisa, Shirley, Brandon, Jeffrey, uh, all needing continued prayers today. Our Mingo Job Corps students, I believe they're going back um, to the center either today or um, tomorrow. And let's pray that all will go well for them as they get back into their routines as well. Our Mingo RCF residents, much sickness uh, in the facility there right now. So let's pray for God's touch for them, especially for Tim Davidson, uh, who has bacterial pneumonia, but many spiritual needs in that facility that we're praying about as well. Those who are in nursing homes um, need our constant prayers. Uh, we had a, a great report that come out of Bible study there um, over the weekend of a resident who uh, had been away from God and prayed back through uh, to the Holy Ghost. And we're so thankful uh, for what God is doing through Bible study there. Uh, we are praying for encouragement and for competent and compassionate care for all the residents in these uh, nursing homes and long-term care facilities. Uh, in need of a touch in their body today, Michelle Clark, Doug Seabald, Devin Huff, George Tibbs, Judy Williams' brother, Janet, Bob and Shirley Perkins, Jessica O'Hara, Sheila Sadler, Cheryl Ogden, Robin Tibbs, Judy Cookson's granddaughter and great-granddaughter, 
Kristen's friend Anne, Meredith, Cheryl Chance's uncle, Kristen's friend Laura, Marshall Link, Pat Wilson, Robbie, Randy Reeves, and Venus, uh, who has been sick and not able to do her infusions recently. Uh, pray for those who suffer with migraine headaches. Uh, pray for Sherry, who needs a liver transplant. Those who are battling with uh, shingles and diabetes, needing our continued prayers. Those with stomach issues. Uh, pray for my dad, who has Parkinson's disease. My mother-in-law, also with Parkinson's and with progressive supranuclear palsy. Tim Workman, Kristen's friend Matt. Russ, Vivian, also needing healing of Parkinson's. Oscar and Dave have kidney problems. Uh, we're praying for Tracy's home to sell. And she is battling MS, and the long daily commute has a, a very adverse effect on her overall health. Also praying for Pastor Marty DeLott, Riley March, and Sarah Stroop uh, in their uh, struggles with MS as well. Uh, Tom needs healing of memory deterioration. Uh, Vivian, Kristen's friend's dad, Johnny's mom, and Melena's mom all need a touch today as they struggle against uh, the effects of dementia. Uh, pray for those who have heart issues today. Uh, lift up John Sutter, who has suffered strokes recently. Eddie Potts uh, needing surgery on his shoulder and for his uh, hip wound to be resolved once and for all. Uh, pray for Donna Robinson, who needs strength in her legs. Uh, Sammy, Sheila, Chris, and Renee, also with mobility problems. Virgil, Rose, June, and Sister Judy's mom, and so many others with arthritis pain. Uh, we have several who continue to deal with back problems, among them Cindy, who is having back surgery on Thursday uh, this week, and Lois, who is still waiting for a surgery date to be scheduled. Darla and Virginia uh, continuing their precautionary treatments with chemo pills after being uh, given the all-clear, the cancer-free uh, status after uh, cancer removal surgery. Many others battling active cancer currently, including Julia Nelson, Jordan, Gladys Sims, Jamie Jo's grandfather, Ari Bowers, Kristen's friend Betty, Valerie, Daniel Dickinson, Christine, Marcia's friend's grandparent, uh, Michelle Strange's sister Cindy, Alice, Scott, Claire, Dwayne, Sherry, who also has lupus, Dennis Phelps, Heather Milligan, who is facing a decision regarding major reconstruction surgery. Uh, Diane Escher, Cheryl, Amy Dees, Kenny Burns, Rebecca Peterson, Linda Young, Murphy Belgard, uh, Lynn Lawrence, Marsha's co-worker's aunt, Maggie Lowry, Jim Ramey, and Pat's younger sister Pam, all needing a miracle today in their battle with cancer. Maisie has a brain tumor. Uh, we're praying for several children, including Brantley and Elsie with heart issues, Abel with PKU and autism, Tano with spina bifida, Abram who has GNAL1 disorder, Baby G with many health issues, Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker battling childhood cancer, Bailey with hearing loss, Emily with epilepsy, Darla's granddaughter with seizures, Elliot uh, having been tested for autism recently, and Stella, a four-year-old who is in need of a heart transplant. Uh, several households are battling uh, illness right now uh, in this winter season, viral illnesses, the flu, pneumonia, bronchitis, et cetera. Uh, praying for uh, my parents who have been dealing with a viral illness, uh, Pastor Marty Gallat and family with bronchitis, the Cummins family with flu. Uh, Brother Mike Williams has been battling illness as well. Uh, also, remember those who have chronic conditions with their lungs and respiratory systems, including Robbie Nor Northrup, Kendall Ortiz, Gary Lee, Dee's mother, Carolyn, Pam Poyam's aunt, Nancy. Uh, pray for continued recovery for Brother David Kent, Pastor Chris Dew, Sarah Seaball, Sharon Burks, uh, Dwayne, Joey, Kelly, Evangelist Billy Huey, Buddy Randolph, Anthony Sifford, and Wayne Owens, we are believing for completion of God's work in each of them as he has definitely brought them such a long way um, since uh, circumstances um, have set them back and uh, many of them going through physical therapy uh, regularly to regain strength and function. So we're believing for each of them 
uh, on that long road of recovery that God will see them through it. Good morning to each of you. Good to see you, Sherman. Happy New Year to you. Uh, Mom and Dad with us, Marsha, Johnny, uh, Kristen back with us. Happy New Year to you, Kristen. Um, and I believe that's everybody that I can actually see so far today. I know there's others joining in with us, and we're so thankful for each of you as there are eight of you with me currently as we get ready to uh, go into our devotion time and pray together this morning. If you have a prayer request, please go ahead and share that with us by commenting on this post, and we'll be sure to add your uh, need to our list today. Psalm 141, a Psalm of David, is what we're reading today for our devotion. Lord, I cry unto thee, make haste unto me, give ear unto my voice when I cry unto thee. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth, keep the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil thing to practice wicked works with men that work iniquity, and let me not eat of their dainties. Let the righteous smite me, it shall be a kindness, and let him reprove me. It shall be an excellent oil which shall not break my head. For yet my prayer also shall be in their calamities. When their judges are overthrown in stony places, they shall hear my words, for they are sweet. Our bones are scattered at the gravest mouth, and when one Cutteth as when one cutteth and cleaveth wood upon the earth. But mine eyes are unto thee, O Lord, or O God the Lord. In thee is my trust. Leave not my soul destitute. Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me and the gins of the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own nets whilst that I withal escape. I want to focus this morning on verse 3. It says, set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth and keep the door of my lips. Have you ever said something that you wish you hadn't, that you could just recall those words and they'll never have left your mouth? I'm just going to go ahead and assume uh, without even waiting for you to type an answer that that for all of us is a resounding yes. We have all spoken thoughtlessly or in anger or ignorance. Maybe we were uh, just trying to be funny and we ended up offending someone. I've done that so many times. Maybe you told a secret that you were meant to keep and it just slipped out. Maybe you got mad and told someone how you felt when you probably should have just cooled off first before you confronted them. In David's wisdom, he says a prayer over his mouth to prevent future mistakes. Uh, my dear old pastor uh, Brother O.S. Ellis used to always say, a word once spoken can never be recalled. There's nothing we can do other than ask forgiveness uh, for the things that are in our past or the things we've already said or done. But verse 3 is a prayer of preventative measure. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips to keep me from speaking thoughtlessly. So first things first, if we have already spoken those words and we regret those words, we need to think about whether or not we need to ask someone for forgiveness. We need to make things right with the person and with God. And secondly, we must commit to praying David's prayer over ourselves regularly, especially if this is an area where we struggle. And then tell someone about that commitment that you've made and ask them to help keep you accountable. Accountability is the one thing I think that is uh, most missing and such a dire need for us in our generation is that we allow ourselves to be held accountable. And the way we do that is by um, confessing our faults one to another and asking for others to join with us uh, to help us to be accountable in the future. As a follower of Jesus Christ, we must focus on making our words match our heart so that we do not fall into condemnation. So as David prayed, let that be our regular prayer today as we go throughout this new year, that God would set a watch over our lips, help us to think before we speak, help us to um, manage our mouths, and that's such a tall order, but manage what uh, comes out of our mouths 
uh, that could be hurtful or that could cause us to fall into condemnation in our own lives. Do you need to ask someone forgiveness today? Uh, that may be a good New Year's resolution to just set things right with anyone um, that uh, in our hearts we know uh, that we are not uh, where we need to be in our relationship with them. And of course, that can only be done um, from your side. You can't force others to accept your uh, at your uh, need for forgiveness or your request for forgiveness, rather. Uh, but God knows all situations, and for whoever needs to hear that today, let's just let this new year be one that we start out uh, fully embracing the grace of God and uh, doing what we can to reconcile relationships and to be what God has called us to be. Amen. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you today for all that you've done in our lives and what you're continuing to work. We thank you, Lord, for passages of scripture like this that show us uh, the proper way to live our lives daily, uh, not to live in the past, not to dwell on the past, but to be cognizant of how we affect others in the present and to take steps to make sure that uh, we are not a hindrance to others in the future by maintaining our way before you, by walking with you daily, God, we can be a positive influence on others. And we give you the praise and the glory for that. And today we want to be a positive uh, influence and have a, a positive impact on the lives of those who have prayer needs. And we pray right now, God, that you would just reach down, that you would move in all of these situations. We'll be careful to give you the thanks and the praise, Lord, for what you're doing. You're the only one that's worthy today. Oh, hallelujah. Direct us today, God. Open our understanding to your word. Help us, God, to walk in the path that you have laid before us, not to deviate to the right or to the left, Lord, but to stay centered in your will today. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for comfort, for peace, and for strength for this family who has just lost their loved one in this tragic uh, murder. We pray, God, for Dee and Kayla and Malachi and Micah. You see, Lord, their grief and their shock right now that they're, uh, that they're dealing with we pray you would help them, Lord, in the days ahead. Comfort their hearts. In Jesus' name, we pray for Rose Brown's children and grandchildren who she's concerned about in their travels, Lord. Protect them. Move in these unspoken needs today. Let your hand be upon those who are serving in our military today. Lord, we pray your protection upon them. Many of them in support roles and those in our Navy that are protecting the seas that are in dangerous situations daily right now. We pray, God, your protection upon them. Those who are in support roles around Ukraine and in the Middle East, God, protect them today. We pray for peace in Israel. We pray for an end to this conflict in Ukraine. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for things to be set right in our world. We believe, God, and trust in your soon coming when you will set up kingdom on that for your perfect will to be accomplished, Lord, by our missionaries today as you work through them right here in North America and all across the world today. Open doors of access for the gospel to be preached. Protect those, Lord, those believers in foreign nations today that are being persecuted. Hallelujah. We pray for revival to continue to spread. We pray for revival in our communities today. We believe for prodigals to return home and for every person that we mentioned on this list today who has a spiritual or emotional or mental situation that they're dealing with, God, that they would receive the help and the deliverance that they need today. Those who are in nursing homes this morning, God, we pray your hand upon them. Hallelujah. We pray that they would feel loved and protected today, that they would be encouraged. We pray, God, that you would move, Lord, in our RCF ministry. We pray for our Mingo Job Corps students who are going back right now uh, to get back into their routine and to finish their education and learn their trade skills. Lord, we pray, God, that they would uh, they would have everything that they need to be successful. And Lord, we pray, God, there would be a great turning of hearts toward you in that ministry, Lord. We pray, God, for those who have health needs today that you would reach down and touch them. Those dealing with migraines and liver problems shingles and diabetes, stomach problems and 
Parkinson's disease, those with kidney issues, those who are battling MS, and those suffering from memory loss and dementia. We lay these needs at your feet today, God. Those who are battling with heart disease, we know that you're able. We thank you for recent reports of those who have received a healing touch. We want to give you the praise right now. We want to give you the glory today, God, for what you're doing. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for those who have mobility problems, those battling arthritis pain and back problems. You see Cindy, who's going in for surgery on Thursday. We pray, God, you would guide the surgeons, the surgical team. Lord, that this surgery would go perfectly and that she would have a great recovery afterwards. We pray for Lois, Lord, for her back situation, that she would be able to get a surgery date locked in. We pray, God, for uh, Eddie Potts, Lord, you see his shoulder situation and this open hip wound that continues to be treated. We pray for John Sutter, Lord. He needs your healing today. We pray for Darla and Virginia, Lord, as they continue their precautionary treatments. All those that we've mentioned today who are battling cancer and some of them facing major decisions in their treatment plan, we pray you would give them your guidance and direction today. But most of all, we cherish your healing touch. We know if we can just touch the hem of your garment today that we will be made whole. And we do that today, God, by faith. We reach up to you, Lord. We believe, God, for your touch right now. With your stripes, we are healed in Jesus' name. We believe for Maisie today and for all these children who are needing healing in Jesus' name. We pray, God, for uh, Tim Davidson with bacterial pneumonia for uh, mom and dad today and for Pastor DeLott and his family, for the Cummins family and all those that are battling uh, illnesses right now. Brother Mike Williams, touch him today, God, that he would be back to 100%. We pray, God, for those with chronic lung conditions and respiratory issues, those who are battling COVID right now, we believe for your healing touch. We believe for continued recovery today for Anthony and Wayne, for Buddy and for Billy Huey for Carmen's cousin Kelly, for Joey and for Dwayne, for Sarah and Sharon, for Pastor Chris Dew and Brother David Kent. Lord, we know you are the provider of every need and there's nothing that's too hard for you. And so we trust in you today, God, to supply these needs according to your riches and glory. Hallelujah. There is absolutely nothing that is too hard for you. We confess that today with our mouths and we believe it today in our hearts. And we know, God, that you're moving in each and every situation according to your perfect will. And now let your will be done, Lord, in earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give us this day what we need to sustain us, both physically and spiritually. And we'll be careful to honor you with our very lives today. Hallelujah. Open doors that we can be a witness today. And help us, God, to keep that. Uh, watch upon our mouths, upon our lips, that we wouldn't say anything that would that would harm others or that would be out of character, that would uh, damage our witness today. In both word and deed, God, help us, Lord, to be examples of the believers today. And it's in your great name, Lord Jesus, that we ask all of these things. Amen. Amen. God bless you, everyone. Thank you for praying with me. Uh, tomorrow, we're already to the middle of the uh, week here. And uh, we look forward to praying together to help you get over that midweek hump. And uh, so bring your needs to the throne of grace along with us. Post them in the comments so that I can add them to the list. If you have victory reports, we certainly want to hear those as well. I look forward to joining with you again tomorrow morning right here on Facebook at 7.30 a.m. I hope that you'll be able to pray with me once again. God bless you in Jesus' name.